Things have gone very, very wrong on the Oz-9. The lights are out and the only illumination comes from the now hundreds of small to medium fires caused by alien weapons and exacerbated by silly strings. So that Olivia can suck all the oxygen out of the ship and smother the fires, the crew of the Oz-9 have been herded down to the bottom levels of the ship. Sublevels none of them even knew existed. Trapped now in the total darkness of the windowless sublevels, the crew are trying hard not to think about the spooky things happening of late. The dead but still chatty astronaut in the Kestikalian fish tank. The moaning from the scientists that are audible on Greg's kidney phone. And the panicked behavior of the Allegrettes. A ship the size of the Oz-9 will take time to empty of its oxygen. Not to mention filling it up again once the fires are extinguished. And so our crew huddled together in the darkness, surrounded by shapes and shadows, and listening intently for things to go bump in the eternal night of space. So just how long is this going to take? Because I don't know about you, but my tank is already half empty. I changed my mind. I don't want to be visible. You'll be all right. Plus, it makes it easier to see you in a rescue situation. Yes. Yes, that makes sense. Wait. You made sense. You don't have to sound so surprised. Oh, really? Because I'm thinking of seeing a press release. <laughs> <laughs> Hey. Hey! He didn't scare you? Uh, no, he didn't. Why didn't you? Yeah, I took the belt off. Figured there was enough to be jumpy about down here already. Oh, my foot. What the hell was that? I, uh, I found some pallets and tore them up. Figured we could make a fire for a little light. And heat. I believe my lady is quite chilled. There are times when even the heat of passion is not enough. In place. No, don't you take it personal, honey. Actually, I hadn't considered taking it as a personal affront, should I? It's a good idea, Joe. Has anyone got a match? <laughs> a match would be redundant when you have the King of Hell in your midst. Ignitus! Whoa! 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 Dude! Oh. Might uh, let me back off a little bit first. I said Ignitus. Yeah. Uh, thanks for the warning, there, Hermione. Ah, uh, nothing like the spell of singed janitor to enliven the day. Perhaps we should try to get some sleep. It's going to take at least two episodes for Olivia to evacuate the oxygen and replenish it. Who knew Silly String was so flammable? Uh, inflammable. Yeah, fire startery. Literally everyone. everyone. Oh, I think Pip's there, right? Cuddle up, get comfy, get some rest. <laughs> Pips? Oh, it's kind of sweet. Like you. Stop! Ooh, son. Oh, son. Did you not? Oh, that was wrong. No perch. Uh, no, no, it's fine. I'm nocturnal anyway. Well, guess I'll just explore a bit. <sighs> what was that? Computer! Oh, Olivia, are we back to back? You're okay. Uh, thank God. I'm uh, not, actually. Dumping the air and refilling it is taking all my processing power. And seriously, I'm trying to put out all the fires and you lot start another one. Oh, hell, what? That is alarming. Olivia? Olivia! Mm, actually, that is alarming. Because of Pippi. Would... Pippi? Wait, where, where's Pippi? Oh, I'm gonna go look for Pippi. Pippi! No, let's not do that. Hmm? Of all of us, Pippi is the best suited to this situation. Let's not have more of us wandering off. Hmm? Strength in numbers and all that. Wow, those pallets must have been wet or something. They sure are making a lot of smoke. Hmm. Uh, that's not smoke. Greg is correct. Smoke generally does not have arms or a face. Something is coming. Is coming. <laughs> <laughs> Lady Nibble Biscuit? Something is coming. Oh, 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 just bollocks to that. Something is already here, and it has arms. Should we? Should we run? No, no, no. Stay together. Hmm? They can't hurt us. Really? 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 Do that. 
photo, honey. Wanna fire that up again? Pluto? Pluto? No one move. Roll call right now. Jesse? Yo, here. Julie? Here. Colin? Greg? Donna? Yeah. Yep. No, no Donna? Okay. Doctors Theo and von Haberzetzer? I'm here. Oh boy. Disembodied voices? Oh. Yeah, he is there. Weather down here? I'm rather more concerned with the screaming. Uh, maybe this is more pranks from the guys that loaded the ship. Doesn't feel like it, though, does it? Does it? No. Some of our number are missing. We can't just do nothing. Colin has a point. Maybe we should search for them together? Move around in a sort of shuffling rugby huddle, you mean? <laughs> I do love a huddle. I think we're better off sitting still. Well, whatever it is picks us off one by one. Huh. Captain, what do you think we should do? Uh, Hell, is she gone too? No, no, I'm here, just thinking. Ew. Please think faster. Oh, something hurts. It hurts? Yeah, I can feel it. Like, out of the corner of my eye. Your eye hurts? No, she's sensing it. Correct? I guess something's in pain. He's trying to get our attention. What is it? I don't know. I don't know. But I think it's been trying for a while. Oh, I really don't like the sound of that. Same. Others missing from the campfire have found themselves suddenly in other parts of the ship's sublevels. Wowza! The air was unpleasant. Hello, Donna. Oh, goodness! You might give a gal a warning. <laughs> Apologies. I-, I forget others don't see the way I do. How did you get here? Don't rightly know. I was just standing by the fire, then something just picked me up and pushed me here real fast. Could see a gosh darn thing. Oh, and then it just left you? Yevers, yeah, is it just you and me oh, here? of the crew? Uh, yeah. I guess I'm asking about folks not of the crew. Oh, then no. Oh boy, who are you picking up on your radar there? I don't know, it's hazy. But whatever's in charge must have brought you here for a reason. Yeah, divide and conquer, I reckon. Then why bring you to me? Something is coming from Oh! Look, you can either be more specific or shut the heck up. Six thousand? Six thousand what? We're gonna need a bigger boat. Unhand me, foul specter. Who are you calling foul? They used to obey me. Yes, well, uh... Perhaps you could encourage such behavior again, hmm? <laughs> this being whooshed from the cozy fire is most unpleasant. Oh. oh. What the hell? Who's there? Greetings, Dr. Theo. You needn't be alarmed. Uh, needn't be alarmed? I was just picked up by ghostly hands, zipped through the darkness, and delivered here. What is your definition of the right time to be alarmed? You are unharmed, yes? Yes. Is it just us three? Uh, for the moment. So, uh, what do we think is happening here? Supernatural beings of unknown origin are moving us about. Uh, yes, thank you, Pluto. This was not exactly my question. Moving us like pawns on a giant chessboard. Indeed. And why? To separate us? Then why bring the three of us together? You believe there is purpose and intention behind all this? I think it's a reasonable supposition, yes. Let us think, gentlemen. What is the thread that connects us three? Oh, you're kidding. Yes. Why should we three meet? In thunder, lightning, and in rain. Uh, Does that sound familiar? No. Should it? Seriously. The Scottish play. English majors got an English mage. How are you doing on oxygen? Oh, uh, probably uh, half an episode left. You? What about you? Same. I think there's a pony keg under the desk if we need it. Let's hope it doesn't come to that. You know it will, though, right? (sighs) Yeah. Anybody there? 
Hello? Greg? Julie? Man, I could use a pair of those night vision goggles right about now. Uh, you know about those? Know about them? They're all over the ship. Thank you. I've been telling Captain Matt on that for ages. Matt just doesn't seem to understand me. You're talking about a captain who tried to roll down a window to let a bee out. In space. I know. I know. Do you hear water? Like, dripping? Yeah. And lots of creeks. Sounds almost like we're aboard a ship. A water ship, not a spaceship. I thought that too. Should we try to find our way back to the others? Well, no. Feels kind of like we're together for a reason. Yeah. But what reason? No clue. With some of those moans we've been hearing? Uh, sure, I'm on the inside too. Like they're nearby and on my kidney phone and someone left the phone off the hook. Ugh. I don't know if I want to find the source of that sound. Same. But I think maybe we're supposed to. Okay. You want to put your kidneys on a speaker? <laughs> Ten bucks says that becomes the title of this episode. <laughs> You're on. Goodness. That cane is useful. Yes, even I was unaware of the flint in the tip. <laughs> Very handy for starting fires, don't you think? Just don't lose the cap, eh? You've got enough fires without you starting one every time you go walk about. Mm. So, um, what are you thinking, Cap? You put on your thinking cap? Wait for it. Mm. I was thinking we need to get to a window. <gasps> You haven't spotted another wasp, have you? Hmm? Yeah, let's not go through that again. No, no, not a wasp. So, what are you thinking? Mm. Have you ever heard of the Mary Celeste? No, who is she? She's a ship. Mad pants? O or the Flying Dutchman? What is that? A painting? A racehorse? Also a ship. Those are both ghost ships. <clears throat> uh, Captain? Hmm? Sorry? Uh, just a... Just a thought. Ghost ships? Ghost ships are ships that have sunk and risen again as specters. Or empty ships who've lost their crew but still sail under unknown power. My god. You think the Oz-9 is a ghost ship? And we're all... dead? Well, that would explain a lot, actually. Like what, exactly? Think about it, Colin. How many times have we escaped death? A hundred? More? Does that make any sense? 99 episodes in, and I'm just now asking that question. Perhaps we're just lucky. Or we've already snuffed it. Oh, boy. Oh, yes, caught in some existential loop, experiencing death over and over, only not quite enough to know it's happened. Maybe? Feel the floor. Oh, God. Not this again. You've just told me I'm dead and basically in hell. That would explain Pluto being here. Mm. And now you want me to feel up the ship again. What are you sensing, Captain? I don't know if we're alive, but she is. Couldn't that be uh, ghostly vibrations uh, mimicking what they were in life? Mm -mm. No, that's the nine. Blood pumping, heart beating. Uh, where's Jesse? Six thousand of what? Hello? Why are ghosts always so ambiguous? Do you talk with ghosts often? Well, no, but never mind. Do you reckon this could be one of them, what do you call it, uh, side quests? Hmm, perhaps. I suppose if we see anything glowing, we should pick it up. Anything glowing? Like, uh, say, the yeah, fell over there? Is anyone else seeing all these people? Yes. Fear not, Dr. Theo, these are mere denizens of Hades. Perhaps I have abandoned my realm for too long. Return to the underworld! They don't appear to be moving. Yes, well, give me a moment, I'm a bit rusty. You have strayed from your appointed place. Return to the underworld and your eternal rest. They don't look rested. More, uh, agitated, actually. But you're doing great. Just... Hang on. My subjects, I am your king, and I demand you return to Hades. Does that usually work? Go home. Shoot. Well, now they're just getting zipped. What is wrong with you people? Uh, they're coming toward us. Do not fear. Uh, why not? Because they are so under your control, eh? <laughs> yeah, you're the god. Point taken. Uh, run! Yeah! Out of here! Sounds like we're getting closer. 
You okay? Ow! Oh, this room is like a maze. No kidding. Yeah. It's exactly like a maze. You think this is on purpose? Like trying to keep us lost and separated? Or trying to get us to go a particular direction. Forget about the kidney phone for a second. We'll ask to see where the path leads us. You trust it? Oh, uh, hell no. But I think it's best to be uh, cooperative. Good point. There's an opening here. No, 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 no. Other way, other way. Opening here. Let's see. Okay, nothing hard to get us away from this direction. Let's go. I don't know. I'm a scientist. Blind faith is not my forte. Well, call it an experiment. Experiment. Right. It's a double blind study, that's all. You've done lots of those, Julie. What is a double blind study? I've always wondered what that term meant. Neither the subjects nor the researcher know who got the treatment or who got the placebo until the trial is over. Well, that's perfect. I reckon that's the situation we got here. Yeah, sure, but are we the researcher or the subjects? Oh, do you know? Tell me you know. I don't know. Crap. Calm down, too. You'll use up your oxygen faster if you panic. I'm not sure telling me that was helpful. Hmm. Fair. Meanwhile... Jesse? Jesse? Captain? What is that? Ah, that would be a goose. Uh, hello. My god. Now, we've had Lady Neville Bickford on board for quite some time, and she's a ghost. And there's Steamboat Mary down in the pub, and while both of those can give you the shivers, that thing hanging there is different. It is completely different. I need a drink. You have a drink? I do. Oh, that oh, tasted like a fish tank. Oh. It, it's another astronaut, isn't it? She's right. It's wearing a spacesuit. Ah, oh, yeah, that's not just any spacesuit, is it? Something, something. Man, I wish they would stop saying that. Perfect. Now look what you did. Who are you? Look at me. Look at me. Wait, do I do I know you? Captain, stop! Don't go any closer. No, it's all right, Colin. It's all right. Uh, are you sure about that? Uh, not in the least, but PMA. I'm trying, but it's like trying to find shapes in clouds. Hold still. Captain? Is that? I think it is. What? What? Don't you dare. Tempting, but we kind of need to know what's going on before we run out of air. My god, I'm, I'm so sorry. Sorry? Why are you sorry? What did we do? I don't believe it. You're right, Captain. Right? We're dead? Will someone tell me what's going on? The astronaut is from the 6748. You've been listening to Tim Sherbert as Colin, Shannon Perry as Captain Madeline and Olivia, Bonnie Brantley as Jesse and Donna, Eric Perry as Joe and Dr. Von Havasetzer, Kevin Hall as Greg, Sarah Ray Werner as Pipistro, Chrissy Talon Sage as Julie, Lee Shackelford as Pluto, Sarah Golding as Mrs. Sheffield, David S. Deer as Dr. Theo Brome. And the fabulous podcast Mission Rejected lent us John Dougan, Faith Dougan, Emmett Dougan, and Caden Dougan, who played all of our ghosts. I'm Kyle Jones, your narrator too. And I'm Chris Nadolny Gorley as your narrator. We'll be having a live listen along for our season five finale. Stay tuned and find details on our website, oznumber9.com. Again, that's oz numeral nine. Com. We'll see you there, space monkeys, and until then, if you have any spare oxygen tanks, please overnight them to Oz-9, Bugle Galaxy, Deep Space, the Universe. Lights! Uh, they're not on. 
I know. I was hoping they might come on. Oh. It didn't work. You know, the best way to conserve your oxygen... Hush. Hush. Hush.